We're gonna steamroller the place until hell wouldn't have it. That's what the Navy's telling us anyway. Man, I want to believe him, but the boldest statements always come from the guys who don't go ashore. All night I listened to our ships pounding Tarawa. And at dawn I saw the island for the first time. Sure don't look like much. That's what scares me. That and they gave us steak and eggs this morning. And they've never done that before. But this part of the ocean is the doorway to Japan's home islands. So that's why we're here. And that's why they're there. training they got, and it wasn't enough. It usually didn't last very long. No matter how much training you got, or how strong you are, when you strap up and step on a battlefield for the first time, it changes you forever. Taro was just another strip of sand out in the middle of nowhere, but for many of us, it would be the last thing we ever saw. The only bright spot in all this is that somewhere, Frank is resting up in a nice, clean hospital, probably chasing after all the pretty nurses. At least I know that one of my brothers in this war is safe. It's funny, but seems like Frank got the best of the deal. The rest of us have another island to take. All we can do is hope that we make it out alive. Tommy! I'll see you on the beach!
Intel shows four batteries ahead. Let's sweep the area and take out those guns. You think we can take them? Yeah, go, we go, go. go! Advance, advance! Cover me! Good hit, Marine! Give me cover!
flash! Get down! He's up! That's it! Think that's it?
Jap! Bang when this place Who's goes up. Good time to find out as any. Yeah. Tommy, y'all want the honors? Everybody go! Get clear! Get down, y'all! You and I can't see him. Open fire! 
Y'all cover me and I'll try to get that thing Thanks started! Catch me up, Jim! You're gonna make it! No more left, buddy, so don't get hit. No more left, buddy, so don't get hit. There's one!
have a look. Great shot, Tom! Nail that sucker! Watch out, they're coming! Heads up, y'all! Anyone see him? Here they come! Watch out, here they come! Watch out, they're coming!
is hot! I can't see him! Where'd he go?
this! Keep your head down, Mac! There's snipers all over the place and they know we're in here! trying to do they're probing us trying to see what we got get ready the rest of them will be here soon Check Check out out
see him. Advance! 
Get up there and check it out! They're coming! They're charging! They're charging! That's it! Yeah, I think you're right. Claire! Where's Old Glory? Get her up here! Runner! To the front! November 23rd, 1943. When the smoke had cleared, more than 5,000 American and Japanese men had lost their lives on a beach not much wider than a few football fields. A Japanese admiral once said, we couldn't take Tarawa with a million men in a hundred years. Well, the Marines did it in three days. And now it's over. But of course it ain't really over. The road to Tokyo is a long one. We're only halfway there. But son of a bitch, we're alive. Hopefully we've earned a little rest, but... Tyranny doesn't sleep. And freedom? Well, it's anything but free. Devil Dogs! On your feet! We're moving out! So I get down to the sick bay for my vaccinations, and there's these two nurses standing there, you know, giving everyone their shots. And one of these dames looks like Grable. I mean, wow, long legs. <laughs> but the other one looks like Gable, complete with pencil mustache. I'm not kidding you, fellas. So I get in line, and all the time I'm thinking, oh, God, I volunteered for this tour. Give me the one that looks like Grable. So I get up near the front of the line, and the only guy in front of me is this scrawny little kid with freckles and wire brush for hair. And this little bastard's gonna get grable. I mean, her uniform is sticking way out to here. Ain't no way I'm gonna get stuck with Red Butler in a dress. So the gorgeous dame turns to Freckleface and asks him if he's afraid of needles. I tell you, fellas, wherever this kid is from, all the women must be flat-chested, because all he can do is stare at her with his mouth hanging open. So I shove him aside and I tell Grable that a real Marine ain't afraid of no pointy objects. Just then Gable steps up, shoves a needle in my arm and says, A real Marine has enough manners to wait in line. And I turn to her and say, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs>